given, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians and choose to be an accountant because it's safe in the business. Have you been to the forest? How will you describe the trees in the picture? Hi, I'm teacher Jocelyn Velasquez. We're going to study about the interaction among living things and non-living things in a rainforest, coral reefs, and mangroves. Let's have a recap of our previous lesson. You are going to write vertebrate or invertebrate under each picture. Rainforest, coral reefs, and mangrove are examples of an ecosystem. Ecosystem is a community made up of living things or abiotic and non-living things or abiotic in their natural environment. Non-living things refers to materials that do not grow, they don't need food or reproduce. Some examples of non-living things or abiotic in an ecosystem are water, rock, soil, air, sunlight, temperature, and rain. Living things refers to organisms that grow, change, produce waste, reproduce, and die. Some examples of living things are plants, animals, bacteria, and fungi. What is the meaning of interaction? It means to act upon one another. An example of an interaction between living things and non-living things is shown in this picture. This plant uses non-living components such as sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide to produce food and oxygen. The bee is collecting pollen from flowers. It needs the pollen to make food for itself and for other bees. This is an example of an interaction among living organisms. Tropical rainforests are examples of an ecosystem. They are very dense, warm, and wet forests located in the band of equator. What are the abiotic or non-living components of a tropical rainforest? Rainforest has a warm temperature and a large amount of rainfall. What are the biotic or living components of a rainforest? Rainforests are a haven for millions of plants and animals. More than half of all plants and animals in the world are found in the rainforest. Tropical rainforest has a complex structures with many levels of life. Tall, broad leaves of trees with branches, heavy mosses, ferns, and orchids make up the canopy of a forest. Shorter trees, shrubs, and creeping plants make up the layer of understory. The forest floor is in deep shade and plant life is thin. 
The light from the sun is blocked by the upper layer of the forest. What are the different types of interaction in the forest ecosystem? Mutualism, a type of symbiotic interaction of two organisms living together wherein both benefit from the association. An example of this type of interaction is the lichen. Lichen consists of a fungus and an algae growing together. Commensalism. It is a type of interaction occurs between two species in which one organism benefits while the other organism is another benefited nor harm. An example of this is an orchid on the trunk of a tree. Predation is the consumption of one living organism, plant or animal, by another. It is also known as the predator-prey relationship. An example of predation is a snake feeding on rats. Hawk feeding on a snake and a spider capture and eat insects such as the cricket trapped in the spider web. Next type of interaction is competition. Population of plants and animals can grow when their needs are met. But when population in an ecosystem have the same needs and utilize the same resources, the resources become scarce and competition exists. Animals compete with both members of the same species and with other species for resources, food, hiding places, to avoid predators and to protect their young, territory or nest sites. Next is cooperation, a type of interaction where organisms cooperate with each other for their survival. Working colonies of ants, bees, and termites show cooperation. Each member has a specific task to do. Insects like bees feed on the nectar from the flower of trees, transferring pollen from one flower to another. Our next lesson is about the interaction of coral reefs ecosystem. Are you familiar with Tubataha Reef? Tubataha Reef is declared as National Marine Park and as a World Heritage Site. Tubataha Reef is rich in corals and other marine life. A coral reef is a marine biome. It is composed of abiotic such as water and sand and biotic like fish, crustaceans, mammals, mollusks, echinoderms, cnidarians, and sponges. The living part of an ecosystem consists of different species or organisms. Each species is a part of ecosystem's population. The different population in an ecosystem interact with each other and with their environment. Do you know how coral reefs are formed? Coral reefs are built when the exoskeleton of corals composed of calcium carbonate or lime accumulate in large quantities. The accumulation happens as the limey exoskeleton of one generation of stony corals are secreted on the exoskeleton of the past generation. Corals can take millions of years to form a reef. What are the interactions in a coral reef ecosystem? Coral reef serves as a habitat and a breeding ground of marine life. Interactions like predation, commensalism, competition, and mutualism also occurs in a coral reef ecosystem. Predation occurs between big and small fishes. Big fish eat small fish as their food. Crown of thorns, sea stars, and sea urchins are the predators of corals. In the absence of sea urchins in which sea urchins eat corals and algae, corals and algae increase. When the populations of algae and corals are no longer checked by the predators, competition occurs. 
competition occurs when two or more organisms compete for resources like food and space. Interaction like mutualism also occurs in the coral reef ecosystem where both organisms are benefited. An example of this interaction is the clownfish and sea anemone's relationship. The clownfish and sea anemone live together showing give and take relationship. In these relationships, both organisms are benefited. The sea anemone serve as the habitat of the clownfish, while the clownfish protect the sea anemone from creatures that are immune from the sea anemone's tentacles. Parasitism is another interaction where one organism is benefited while the other is harmed. Parasitism is evident in the worm living in fish and the fish itself. Commensalism also occurs in the marine ecosystem. Barnacles are often found in rocky surfaces, even on the skin of whales and turtles. Barnacles are the commensals while the whale is the host. Barnacles are benefited while the host is neither harmed or benefited. Due to lack of nutrients in the coral reef, many animals in this ecosystem cannot survive without depending from other organisms through a process called symbiosis. Symbiosis means living together. The flow of energy could be enhanced through the symbiotic relationship. Coral reefs are one of the most colorful and beautiful natural resources on Earth. Did you know that the Philippines is one of the countries with the most extensive coral reefs resources in the world? Some of them can be found in Palawan, Sulu, and Southern Mindanao. Have you visited the place where mangroves grow? How will you describe this ecosystem? The living part of a mangrove ecosystem consists of mangrove plants and different species of animals like crustaceans, fish, birds, and mollusks. Mangroves are an important part of the marine ecosystem that includes seagrass and coral reefs. Brackish water is necessary and an important abiotic component of a healthy mangrove swamp ecosystem. Mangrove plants have tangled roots that are exposed above water. The roots of the mangrove plants are adapted to filter salt water. Their leaves excrete salt, allowing them to survive where other plants cannot. What are the biotic components in mangroves? Animals inhabit the mangrove canopy like the egret and other birds. Other animals like fish and crustaceans live underneath the mangrove root system. Other animals living in the mangrove ecosystem are the monitor lizard, mudskippers, and crustaceans like shrimps and crabs. Saltwater crocodile also live in the mangrove swamp. But not all mangrove swamps in the Philippines have saltwater crocodiles. Mangrove and coral reefs have symbiotic or mutual relationship. Both mangroves and coral reefs in the coastal area provides breeding and protection. What are the importance of mangrove swamp? Mangrove serves as nesting and breeding ground of different species. Mangroves are important habitats of different organisms. Mangrove acts as natural barrier and flood defense. And lastly, mangrove provide a source of livelihood. That's all our lesson. Be safe everyone. Bye.